we're here. It's the final episode of season one of The Owl House. Not only has this show been really good with really good characters and fun writing and a fun world, but this show kick-started my YouTube channel. As of recording this, I have 160 subscribers and four videos with over a thousand views. And I, I owe that solely to this show. And uh, that's awesome. You guys have all been so supportive and, and kind. And I've loved discussing the show with you guys. And that's coming to an end until season two. I am going to be continuing with a bit of Owl House content. I'm going to be making an episode tier list, and I want to react to like some, some big fandom videos. I'm already going to be reacting to Ordinary and Little Miss Perfect, but if there's something you want me to check out, it may not make it into a video, but I do want to at least watch it for myself. Please comment what you want me to check out in the comment section, and also, if you've been on this journey with me, I'd appreciate a subscription. Just because the Owl House is ending doesn't mean that reactions are ending. I'm going to be moving on to another cartoon. I'm not sure what show yet, but it won't be long after this video goes live that, that it'll be starting up. I almost don't want to start it, man, because I don't want it to end. <laughs> are you guys like that? You, do you hate finishing a, a beloved show like this? It, it kills me every time. But we gotta do it. We gotta see how Luce saves Ida. We gotta see what happens to the Emperor. With Lilith. With Luce's mom. If that's even gonna be addressed. With Amity. With Lumity. <laughs> we, we gotta see, man. I'm dying to know. So let's, let's start it. Young blood, old souls. Three, two, one, go. The Boiling Isle. Born from the flesh and bones of a fallen titan. We're gonna be getting a lot of lore here, huh? So, a mysterious witch appeared who declared that he, and he alone, could speak to the island. He said that we were using magic all wrong. He's a false prophet, surely, right? He created the coven system. You're gonna tear down this system, man. And our potential sealed away. Those who resist are called wild witches, and they face harsh punishment. Death. Oh, man. I don't care what Bellus is up to. Because today I'm saving Ida. Whoa, skip the opening? I don't know what he's planning to do with Ida, but I'm going to rescue her. Haven't you been listening? With a dagger? To he's the Emperor. Me and Ida don't always see eye to eye, but I do consider her family. I want her back as much as you do. Very sweet. I wonder how uh Ida and King met. Bellos will heal you and we'll be in his coven together. Isn't that wonderful? You're being misled, girl. Damn. You strong as hell, dude. <laughs> Whoa! Ah, farts. I got caught. I thought that she would be sentient in that form at some point. Ah, taking her to the healing ceremony. <laughs> Girl. But you promised this is the Titan's will. All yeah, right, dude. Must be dealt with before the day of unity. Oh. Korra season two type stuff, man. He wants to unite the two worlds. Is that gonna be how the season ends? That's crazy. Please tell me that's not as bad as it sounds. Petrification is only done to the worst criminals. It can't be reversed. Damn. She cursed Ida. She captured her own sister. She is the worst. I ever see her again. <laughs> ah, lose the human. Oh, How I've waited to see the warden. Again. Now I'll have my revenge, and you'll have front row seats to Ida's demise. She's gonna bust his ass instantly. I love it. She's come so far, dude! Look at her! <laughs> dude. <clears throat> oh, 
Yes. Lose? Hell yes. Oh, no, 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 no. What, what, what are you doing here? I'm here because of my own actions. I went against Bellos' law, and for a while I was able to get away with it. But Came back to bite magic, you. I can't do much. I don't regret anything. I lived freely, and I got to meet you. Very sweet. But if you stay here, I won't be able to protect you. You need to leave. Now. It's Look, Luce's turn to protect you, girl. Us weirdos have to stick together, remember? Oh, made me cry. Oh, no. No, this is what he wanted, dude. Okay, I was expecting Bellows to come out. I love you, Ida. I love you too, kiddo. Oh. No! Not yet! I'm sorry. Damn. Dude, Luce is gonna snap on her ass. Yo. Oh! Shit! Oh my gosh. Oh no, her glyphs don't work in the real world? Or in our our world? When Edelin and I were younger, we were the best of friends. <laughs> Very cute. <laughs> Kinda surprising to see blood. With the spell declared, let the pain be shared. Oh wow. One spot is available. Wow, dude, really? The winner. Join our ranks. That's whack as hell. Would beat me. Cast it on her own sister in her sleep. I thought it would just be for a day. No. And she forfeited. To battle my sister. You messed up big time. I mean, she's messed up, but she's had to live with that her whole life. Emperor Bellows told me he would heal her curse, but he lied to me. I don't like your whole deal, but we need your help to save Ida. You Thank gotta team up, man. You don't really have another option. Now let's head back. Dude, is Luce's mom gonna like walk past? <laughs> That'd be crazy. Take this up to the stage where they're holding Edelin. Thank you, Lilith. What will you do now? I will stay in the Emperor's Coven, but I will make sure nothing like this ever happens again. That's good to hear. Try and reform it, I guess. Why are there no guards around? Oh my god, dude, it was a setup. <laughs> this is stressing me out, man. Hello, Edelin. Lilith, you hurt loose. You cursed me. Before anything turns me to start, I'll tear you apart. Damn. Hear her out, yeah. She was trying to help. She even betrayed the Emperor for you. Ed Coven leader Lilith is now in the holding cage, escorted by what appears to be a deranged cat. Augustus? I lied! Dude, I thought that that was his dad. <laughs> I thought they looked alike, but I didn't want to look racist. <laughs> what the hell is Luce gonna do here? No way it's gonna end on like a cliffhanger with her captured, right? Oh, dude, I was wondering when that thing from the opening was going to show up. What's wrong, human? I thought you wanted to fight. Had enough? Not even close. Trap. Ooh. <laughs> that might have been a mistake, though. Like your spirit. But try that again and things won't end well for you. Now, I'm just a humble messenger for the Titan. In the grand scheme of things, the Owl Lady's life is inconsequential. Does he buy into his own medicine about that Titan nonsense? If you want to save your mentor, give me the portal to the human realm. Dude, is she gonna break it? <laughs> you probably think we want to invade the human realm. 
Here, it's yours. The Titan will be pleased. What, dude? Go be a hero. I may have lost, but so have you. Yo! Can she not go home now? Just torture ass, girl. I think Kiki said bet. <laughs> oh wow, man. So is Ida gonna be stuck in this form? What the hell? Oh sister, I should have done this a long time ago. With this oh, she's gonna take half the curse. That just buys time, though. Yeah. Oh, wow. Can you still do magic? Ooh. That's a no. It's okay. Wow. I can teach you what I know, and what we don't know, we can learn together. <laughs> Glyph using Ida now, huh? Thanks, kid. Oh my I gosh. And that's how we escaped from the Emperor. Everyone told me he was the most powerful witch alive. But look at this, Mom. I chipped off a piece of his mask. I know he's not invincible now. It's a strange feeling, having gone through so much and not having you here to share it with. And I don't know when or how I'm going to see you again. Wow. But I will find my way home to you. I promise. Deja una luz puesta para mí. Te quiero. We'll be keeping an eye on the inhabitants of the Owl House. In the meantime, the Day of Unity is Who was that? upon us, and we have much work to oh, do. Oh, he's rebuilding it, okay. Dude, is that it? Are you kidding me? <laughs> We've done it. <laughs> we finished Season 1 of the Owl House. Holy crap, man. What a ride. I was wondering what the uh, resolution as far as Luce's mother was going to be. And we didn't really uh, get that, I guess. But she, Luce was supposed to be at summer camp three months, right? And it's been one month. I didn't expect Luce to be willing to sacrifice her chances of getting back home to her mother like that. I mean, they were in vain, as we saw, but she doesn't know that. And... I say that it, it surprised me. It doesn't. Her character, it doesn't surprise me. I don't know why I said it surprised me. That's very in character of her. She's very selfless. And seeing a anger-driven loose like that, her rage against uh, Lilith, man, that was just crazy. And she was badass. She was taking out those guards... So like, like, and that was awesome. That was epic. The thing that surprised me the most, I think, about this two-part finale is it's no Amity. I'd be lying if I said that I wasn't a little disappointed that she wasn't there. But it's also, it's not, it's not her story right now. It's Luce and Ida's. And Lilith's. And Lilith taking half of Ida's curse to revert her to her human form was very... It was a very nice moment. I liked that quite a bit. And now, Ida just straight up like can't do magic at all. And Lilith, she said she's very weak. I don't know if she can like do anything. I think that uh the, I forget the term, but two colored pupils. It's an interesting look for the two of them. And for season two, it's going to be very interesting to have Lilith be a pretty prominent character, I would assume. I would assume that she's going to be living with Ida and Luce now, right? And we still have a lot of questions, dude. This was kind of the cliffhanger. Who is Bellos? What's up with the giant heart? Is it the heart of the Titan? It seems connected to him. What is this day of unification? I figured he just wanted to take over the Earth world, right? But 
he said that's like a, a baby POV of what his true intentions are. Who is writing these letters to Luce? Or to Luce's mom, rather. We don't know. <laughs> that's wild. And I'm kind of glad that we don't know. It really gives me something to sit on a bit. And I'm I'm glad. I don't want, you know, to just finish the show and then never think about it again, right? I like having a little something to chew on. But it's also going to consume my thoughts. <laughs> Without a doubt, the highlight of this episode for me was Luce and Ida telling each other that they loved each other. That was uh, extremely wholesome. <laughs> it... it really really made my heart happy dude is there owl house merch i want some owl house merch what the hell i want a t-shirt or like the the gravity falls i have the uh the journal i want something like that for this show now man i'm sure that there are king plushies out there right that's got to be a pretty popular item so thank you dana terrace thank you to all the voiced cast on this thank you to all the animators the storyboarders the writers and thank you to you guys for um, joining me on this journey. It was a great time. I've always wanted to do a reaction to a series like this. I, I've enjoyed watching videos like these for years, you know. And to be able to produce them myself and participate in them, it's been a fun time. I've had a, I've had a really good time doing it. And... Uh, I'm not planning on stopping. Is there is there a name for this fandom? Are we a bunch of hooters or some shit? <laughs> so to the hooters, I'll see you in what, 2021 or something crazy? 2022 possibly even? Whenever this show returns. But also, I will see you guys in my Owl House episode tier list, which will be coming up shortly, and my reactions to... Little Miss Perfect and Ordinary. I need to I need to get the rest of my Owl House fix in uh, before I lose my mind. <laughs> so thank you guys so much. I, I really appreciate each and every one of you that have watched my videos. Why did this become my trademark? Because I'm I'm boring and unoriginal. I guess. But uh peace. <laughs>